हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज हर्ष एंड यू आर वाचिंग डब्ल्यू पी एफ वर्ल्ड वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी एफ ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट द रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म इन डब्ल्यू पी एफ सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म इन डब्ल्यू पी एफ हेयर वी विल लर्न ऑल द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज कंट्रोल इन डब्ल्यू पी एफ नाउ लेट्स क्लोज एंड सी द कोडिंग पार्ट यू नो हाउ टू यूज द ग्रीड राइट In the grid, if we want to create the row, then we have to use grid dot row definitions, and then we will add the row definition for each row. And here we can set the height. Here I set the height to auto. If we set the height to auto, it will automatically adjust the height of row based on the control in that particular row. To create a column in grid, we have to use grid dot column definitions. In column definition, we can set the width now let's match the ui and the code see this is emp id right this is text block like it is not editable this is text box where we can enter some value right so we have used text box here and as you can see this is in first row of the grid so i have used grid dot row equal to 0 and column equal to 0 and if you see this text box it is in second column that's why i have used grid dot column equal to 1 using this name we can set the name of the control using the margin property we can set the margin of the controls like this i have created the text block for name this is in second row and first column that's why grid dot row equal to 1 and grid dot column equal to 0 and text equal to name what we want to show here this is second row and second column so grid row 1 and grid column 1 okay now this is third row first column so grid row 2 column 0 this is date time picker from here we can select any date it will open the calendar and we can select any date any year like this we can select and it will display here okay this is a dash text block which is in 1 2 3 4 means fourth row and first column so here it is grid row 3 and column 0 right this is text box and here we can enter multiple line okay but if you can see here this is also text box but you cannot enter new line okay why i am able to do this i have used here the property except return equal to true if we make it false then we will not able to go to the next line let's see i will save it now i want to hit the enter see now i am unable to go to the next line in place of text box we can also use the rich text box where we can format the text where we want to add some formatting in another video we will learn the difference between text box and rich text box this is combo box here we can show the list of value and we can select the desired value we will have all the country name here this i will show in another video like how to show data in combo box see this is combo box grid row 4 and grid column 1 this is radio button like here we can select only one we can't select both thing we have a control called check box we will see the difference between check box and radio button in later video now this is the image control where we can show the image you can see here this image control we have the name we have height we have width and the source of image if you see wpf.png is available here that's why i used this path we have to set the path for the source which we want to display in image and you know this is the button we will see all the functionality in later video i hope you understand how to create the registration form if you found this video helpful let's share with your friends